right. Thank you to I True Roots Copper Aborigine, Aborigines Hydrophily and King Stephen. Thank you for um, sharing the link with Legal Crest. You guys can um, look in the description below this video. I have posted Legal Crest um, link so you can join him and become a member um, where he will explain in one of the videos the detailed information and in filling out these performance bonds, bid bonds, and payment bonds. Now he's explaining that in the section under at the very top, I'm not going to scroll up because I realize I'm doing this stuff and there's some private information on here. So let me see if I can make this clear. Under your name, okay, where it says name at the top, under that it says address. You're supposed to put the address, right? The address that you're putting there, he's saying is to put the UCC and the non or the non UCC address that you put, which is the hospital you are birth in. Okay. Now where it says corporation joint venture, you're going to click on joint venture. Why is it a joint venture? It's a joint venture because a secured party creditor, which is you have claimed the straw men, the all capital name too. So it's a joint venture between the two. Then you're going to scroll down to where it says name um, under surety and corporation. And you're going to put, again, the all capital names, the first name, the middle initial, and the last name. Now, what he did was, in the amount section, he wrote 999, 900, 999,999,999 um, to claim the bond. Because whoever has the largest amount on these bonds controls the court case. So when you listen to Legal Crest, he will he will explain to you what happened to him. Now, what we're supposed to do when we get into these courtrooms, which we didn't know to do, was to ask the agents doing business as a clerk and or judge to release to me these um, orders Release to me these orders of the court. They must, they must present these bonds. And then what you do is you take, uh, um, you, you um, authorize, or I guess you claim those bonds now um, with your seals. Our seals is our signature. Our seal is our bond, right? Now, in the corporate, where it says corporate seal beside the names at the bottom, um, and I also know in the saw in the surety section, he also wrote the all caps name, the middle initial, and the last name. Now, there's a section beside the name under the, um, let's see if I can just scroll up real quick to remember the section. Under the, the principal section, number two, where it says name and titles, that's where you'd put your name or your appellation, sorry, L. Bay Day, L. or Alley. So you put John Doe L. Bay Day L. R. L. Whichever one your yours is, right? And then I noticed in the corporate surety section below Security B, Surety B, um, where it says liability limit amount. Um, this is on the second page. This is the standard form twenty five performance bond, right? He put ten billion, ten billion liability limit, ten billion. Now. He's explaining that when you do the money order, okay, the estate money order. Now, with these, first I want to go back. He said to do the 1099 OID, the 1040 V, the 1040, and the form 56. And I want to say a 1096 in there. I don't know why. Um, he's saying the form 56, you make the treasurer the fiduciary trustee. The reason why you make the treasurer the fiduciary trustee is so that when these agents write to the treasury to access your to access your estate, you're giving the treasury permission to allow these entities to access the estate bonds to collect, right? Because you're in essence paying everyone involved in this court case. You're paying for the judge, the prosecutor, the 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 the, um, the clerk, and whoever else is involved in the case. Please, you name it, right? Now, what happens is each charge is in fact 2 million. Each charge is 2 million. So he's going to go back and claim that on the 1099 OIDs and that, right? Now he's also saying that when you're in court, the reason why the prosecutor tries so hard to win is because if he loses, he has to come up with the 2 million. 
okay? In addition to the fact that when you create the money orders and that always write um, your, when you sign your name, when you're typing up the money order, put without recourse on there. And I've already done a video about that. You guys can look in the description below this video. And all the videos for the SFGSA 30, SFGSA 1414, SFGSA 1416, and the SFGSA 1418, along with the performance bond, the bid bond, and the payment bond videos, they're all posted in the comments section. I've pinned the first comments in the past few videos. In that comment, when you scroll down and you read to the very end, you will see all the IRS forms to send because what you're going to do is send it to the Treasury, the, um, you, the, uh, in, um, the UCC, sorry, the IRS um, Treasury Department. No, the IRS, so I'm getting confused. Oh, sorry, the I, Internal Revenue Service Technical Technical Division, IRS Technical Division, care of the UCC Treasury Department, right? So you're going to serve all this stuff over to them. Now, I'm thinking they're saying to do, um, if you have a series of charges too, um, you're supposed to do one mailing for each set of bonds. So I was thinking to just put all the bonds in one thing and FedEx it over, right? You guys do what you are guided to do, right? Because I also noticed that he did not print his on bonded paper. However, we're told to print it on bonded paper. And then you put your right hand thumbprint where it says corporate seals beside the signatures and that. Just put your thumbprint on all of it. And then you guys go back to the stamp act videos I just made. And then you'll put the, the stamp on the back or on the front of each page. The two cent stamp and or the five cent stamp, right? And then you put your two red lines over the stamp your signature over the stamp and your reading thumbprint on the corner of the stamp, right? Now, um, he's explaining that the money orders, um, you do them for laptops, computers, phones, and then he filled out one for a house and one for automobile, a Jaguar that he was looking to get, right? And um, you go and you get that CPA book by Ray. I made the video about it prior. You can listen to him. And it's a really good CPA book because in the CPA book, it tells you how to fill out those estate bonds, those estate money orders, sorry, right? Now, what happened was they filled out another set of these performance bonds, bid bonds, payment bonds on us, forged our signatures and stuff and created these court claims, which is treason. And when you listen to him, he'll give you the law for treason. So basically, once you fill out these things, these guys can be hung jailed or killed for treason because they did not tell us they were doing what they're doing right and what we're going back now and doing is reclaiming our estate and he's saying none of us are poor basically because this this social insurance numbers um are in fact unlimited 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 credit there's no money since it helps resolution 192 june 5th 1933 they took lawful money gold and silver out of circulation it's all credit. So when you write 10 billion or you write 999 million, it's unlimited credit people. So when people try to tell you you're poor, you're impoverished, and no, nothing, no. So people are they're doing drugs and guns and crap that's not necessary in that, which is what he's saying, because we're the richest people on the planet. Anyways, you guys, go back now, do the research on this, look in the descriptions below. Thank you to April for sharing the legal press videos with us um, to Facebook and stuff initially. Thank you to uh, Stephen King, King Stephen, for sharing this with us today again to remind us so we can go over it. Again, you guys can become a member with them. You can email us here at themalings at gmail.com. Dear God, when you guys email us, please just make it short and sweet and to the point. When you make it a whole page and stuff, it's difficult for me to read all that stuff. And then just go back and do the research on the trees and laws that surround this stuff too, right? So you guys know I made the video about the powers that be um, sharing this information with me again. So they did. I really appreciate it. And then you guys are commenting about the uh, Albion um, trying to murder those two children from Ghana. And you Googled it and found out it's a true case. Yes, it's true. Anyways, you guys, thanks again, Copper Aborigines. Thanks to Tressy Rockamore. Thanks to iTree Roots and all of you in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe. You guys have yourself a great day.